Hi guys. In today's video, Hide Myak will guide you on how to set up a proxy on various devices and browsers to change your IP address. First, you need to have a proxy ready. Hide Myak will use a residential proxy with a location in the United States. You can also check your real IP address on IP Fighter, IP Hey, or Pixelscan. To add a proxy to a real computer, follow these steps. Step 1. Open the computer's settings. Step 2. In the Network and Internet section, select Proxy. Step 3. Enable Automatically Detect Settings in the Automatic Proxy Setup section. Step 4. Set up the proxy in the Manual Proxy Setup section. Switch to the proxy usage mode, and then add the proxy in the format IP colon port. If you don't want to use the proxy for a specific website, add it below, with each website separated by a semicolon. Finally, click Save. If the proxy requires a password, you will need to enter this information when accessing websites. Go to IP Fighter to recheck the IP address and location to see if they match the information of the purchased proxy. Aside from this manual method, you can use the Proxifier application. Hide Myak will provide a download link in the description for your convenience. This is the tool's interface after logging in. Select Proxy Server and click Add to add a proxy. Fill in the proxy information and choose the corresponding protocol. In the Authentication section, select Enable and enter the proxy's username and password if needed. Click Check to verify the proxy's status. If it shows green like this, the proxy is live. Finally, click OK to add the proxy to the list. Next, you can visit IP Fighter to check if the IP address has been changed. Next, to add a proxy on an iOS phone, go to Settings, select the Wi-Fi network you are using. Scroll down, select Proxy Configuration section. Here, choose Manual and enter the proxy information including Host, Port. Finally, click Save. If the proxy requires authentication, enter the username and password. Go to IP Fighter to check if the IP address has changed. The IP address and location have been changed. You can also use the Shadow Rocket app on the App Store to set up a proxy. This is a paid app. To use it, you'll need to add the proxy's host and username if needed. The app also supports various types of proxies like HTTP, HTTPS, SOX5, and more. For Android phones, the steps are similar. Go to Settings, select Network and Internet, and select the Wi-Fi you are using. Depending on the Android device, the display screen may vary, but the basic steps are as follows. Select Edit Network, then choose Advanced Options. In the Proxy section, change None to Manual. Then enter the proxy information. If you don't want to use the proxy for a specific website, enter it here. Click Save to update the information. Next, go to IP Fighter to recheck the new IP address. Since this proxy requires a password, you need to enter the username and password when accessing the network. The IP address and location have been changed. So, you have successfully added a proxy. Aside from the manual setup on your phone, you can use the Tun2 Tap app on Google Play. This app is free and has a very simple interface. First, select the proxy type, then enter the proxy information, including host. Hydniac uses proxies located in the UK. 
Enable proxy authentication and enter the username and password if necessary. Finally, press connect to connect to the proxy. To check if the proxy was successfully added, go to IP Fighter, reload the page, and see if the address and location have changed. If so, the proxy has been successfully added. Above, Hide Mayak has just guided you on how to set up a proxy on a computer and phone. So, how do you change the proxy on a browser? Besides using VPN extensions, you can manually change it as follows. For Chrome browser, step 1, in the open profile, click the three dots in open settings. Step 2, select system and click on open your computer's advanced settings options. Step 3, enable automatically detect settings in the automatic proxy setup section. Step 4, this step is done as guided in the real computer proxy setup. For proxies that require a password, you also need to re-enter the information each time you access it. Similarly, recheck the new IP address on IP Fighter. Hydniac will guide you on how to use an extension to set up a proxy on your Chrome profile. First, download two extensions, Proxy Helper and Proxy Switchy Omega. After installing Switchy Omega, select option to enable this proxy. In the Profile section, choose the proxy and fill in the proxy information. Start with the protocol, then the server, and port. Click on the lock icon to enable authentication and enter the proxy's username and password. Click Save Changes to save the information. Similarly to the manual method mentioned earlier, you can also add a list of websites that you don't want to use the proxy for. The final step is to select Apply Changes. Now you've successfully added a proxy using the Switchy Omega extension. Next, when using Proxy Helper, go to the General section, choose the corresponding proxy type, and add the proxy's host and port. For proxies that require authentication, go to the Authentication section and enter the username. For the Firefox browser, you need to click on the three bars in the General section, scroll down to the Network Settings section and select Settings. Next, choose Manual Proxy Configuration. Depending on the type of proxy you are using, enter the corresponding proxy information. If using a rotating proxy, you can assign an automatic rotating proxy link here. If you don't want to use the proxy for a specific website, enter it in this section, separating each website with a comma. Finally, click OK to save the settings. You can go to IP Fighter to recheck the new IP address. For the Firefox browser, you can add the Foxy Proxy add-on to set up a proxy. After installing the extension, open the dashboard, go to the Proxies section, and enter the proxy information. This includes the proxy type, host, port, username, and password. You can also add a title and color for easier management. Finally, click Save to save the information, and you're all set. HideMyAC has just guided you on how to set up a proxy on a computer, phone, and browser. However, if you want to create and manage a large number of accounts, Changing the IP is not enough because websites can still detect you based on browser fingerprinting data. That's why you need to use anti-detect browsers like HideMyAC. HideMyAC supports users in adding multiple types of proxies to different profiles. When creating a new profile, in the Proxy section, click on your proxy, then enter the proxy information in the host port username. Click Check Proxy to check the status of that proxy. You can also add proxies in bulk to the created profiles by selecting the profile, clicking the Add Proxy button, choosing the appropriate proxy format, and entering the list of proxies here. Note that each proxy should be on a separate line, and the number of proxies should match the number of profiles. Finally, click Add to Complete. Additionally, you can add proxies to the Proxy Manager. Click Add Proxy, then enter the list of proxies here. You can add tags, expiration dates, and notes if necessary. Finally, 
click Add. In the future, if you want to set up a proxy, you can select the available proxy in the store without re-entering the information. Depending on your usage needs, you can apply one of the proxy setup methods that HideMyAC has guided above. If you have any questions, please contact the HideMyAC support team through live chat. Thank you for watching the video, and see you in the next videos.